heard of a show called Bob the Builder? Well, there was an episode of season 9 that was going to be the last episode before Project Build had started all. But the episode, Mr. Bentley's Winter Fair, ended up being the last episode of season 9 instead. You want to know what I saw? I saw that episode. So, alright, I'll tell you. I'm a 13-year-old boy who lives in California. One day, me and my mom were at a video store looking for some Bob the Builder DVDs. I found a blank DVD which just has the entire Bob the Builder. I bought the DVD and took it home and looked back at all the cover for it consists of all the episodes. Lofty the Artist, Trix and the Otters, Travis Gets Lucky, Lottie and the Rabbits. I popped the disc into my laptop, but after all the episodes on the DVD were finished, I saw something that I never saw or noticed before on the DVD menu. The last episode right before the fourth one was read, entitled Red Font, Angry Dizzy. I thought this was some sort of unaired episode, so I grew curious. I clicked on it and went straight to the song, which went normal. After the episode, it just showed a typical town scene with the title Angry Dizzy, written in Jimmy Hubert. It showed Dizzy in Bob's yard, although she was rather sad. Why would the team make fun of me? Dizzy cried before she started shaking at one point and then started to growl. She even started to show signs of anger and even hatred towards her friends. The next scene showed Pilcher sitting on the road. Then Dizzy saw a Pilcher. Move out of the way, cat! Dizzy screamed, where things started to pick up. Dizzy ends up running over Pilcher. Then she mixed the cat's insides and laughed evilly. Next, it showed Spud the Scarecrow at Trav and Travis at Miss Farmer Pickles Farm, obviously bored. Oh, if only a Farmer Pickles were he was here right now, Spud said. Be patient, Spud. He'll be there in a minute, Travis replied. Dizzy then pulled up to the farm, and then Travis and Spud greet her, but Dizzy was holding some sort of gun right in front of her wheel. To Dizzy, why did you get the gun? And where is Farmer Pickles? Spud asked in concern. Dizzy replied with, I got this gun in the shop and proceeded to kill Mr. Pickles with it. Of course, Dizzy shoots Spud, the scarecrow, and then she pointed the gun at Travis. No, please. I'm sorry, Dizzy. I didn't mean to make fun of you. Dizzy just ignored Travis and just kills him right then and there. Dizzy's eyes were now bloodshot, and then she went back to over to Bob's yard. Oh no, she was going to kill the rest of her machine team? First, she ran over Pilchard, and then she destroyed Travis and Spud? It cuts to the rest of the machines at Bob's yard, having the day off. That's when they saw Dizzy, clearly looking very angry. I'm not even kidding. She was angry, Rolly said. Oh, hello, Dizzy. What do you took you so... But Dizzy yelled in anger and agitated voice. I'm going to kill all of you guys, Dizzy said, and then she grabbed a knife. Of course, she ends up killing Rolly with it that caused him to yell in pain, dying seconds later. This caused the other machines to panic. D Dizzy, why? Scoop panicked. He tried to back away, but sadly, Dizzy killed him right then and there. He was screamed in pain, dying almost immediately, falling on one side. Muck tried to stop Dizzy from killing anymore, but she ended up getting killed by her best friend. This wasn't right. I watched as Lofty heard Dizzy's calling his, na his name. Stop! Lofty yelled. Dizzy asked in a normal voice, Do you support her? Hurt this person? No, 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 Lofty answered. Then to hell you go, Dizzy screamed in a demonic voice. She then lunged on towards Lofty and then kills him about by stabbing him several times. Now it was at the point of sobbing since Lofty ended up being destroyed by Dizzy. Then the unthinkable happened. Dizzy burned, bummer, burned down. Yes, Bob's house. Bob and Wendy were jogging when Bob's phone started ringing. It was Mr. Beasley. Hello, Bob the Builder. Dizzy did what? It's okay, Mr. Beasley. We'll put a stop to her. Bob told Wendy about the news, and they rushed back over to the yard and they yelled, but when they arrived, it was too late. Oh my god! Bob and I gasp in horror as Dizzy appears and rams, rams a saw into, into, onto Bob. Foolish man, Dizzy said to, him, to herself. Dizzy, what is the meaning of this? Wendy asked in a state of panic. Dizzy then stabbed her repeatedly as clay blood and gore splattered everywhere. Thankfully, two police officers, one with a mustache voiced by Jimmy Hibbert, while the other one without a mustache was voiced by Rob Rackstraw, came in and caught the yet now chaotic cement mixer. Her eyes were not glowing red. Then it cuts to Dizzy in what you see a machine court. 
in the court were Mr. Bentley and Mrs. Bentley, along with Mr. Ellis, Miss Miss Robent, JJ, J. Molly, Skip, Trix, and even Angelo and Sebastian. Mr. Bentley was the first one to go up to the podium. Dizzy, what made you kill everyone in Bobsville? Mr. Bentley asked in an edge of voice. Now it was Dizzy's turn to speak. If you want to know why, if you don't support me, she started. I will kill you all, she said, demonic voice. Then Dizzy grabbed the handgun, shot everyone. But of course, it then cuts to the usual credits. I was disturbed after watching this episode. Like, what? This show wouldn't make a disturbing episode like this. I burned the disc with a lighter and threw the disc out. If you ever see this episode, the Kids Cartoon Network, like Bob the Builder, don't watch it. Seriously, I'm warning you. And that, my little pretties, was Angry Dizzy, a Bob the Builder lost episode creepasta written by Lightning McTyler. My final thoughts on this story? For the long pause, I'm just going to say right now is, what was this? Like, seriously, what the hell was this? Now, I know you guys are probably asking... What the on earth was this piece of garbage story? And as I could already tell, I really did not like this story. And I'm just going to be um, completely honest right here. Now, now, Lightning McTyler, I'm not offending you or anything like this. I'm only saying this because I want to help you get better with your writing. This is not to offend you. This is only my opinion on... This story. Now, with that said, I'm going to, well, go from there. All right. Now, first of all, I would like to say is that the story of its own self, if I can tell, probably there was an attempt to um, and create a new, create a new better story. I think this was your first story, but please correct me if I'm wrong. But I could definitely say this story, off of its own self, was just not good. I just didn't really like this story. This story was just, honestly, a really... Okay, I'm going to say over here, right here, right now, is that this story was not really that good. I'm going to be completely honest that this story was not even good to even begin with. What was wrong with the story? Well, I'm going to say right now... There were... The grammar was alright. Like, the grammar was okay. The grammar was pretty okay to start. So, I could definitely say that the grammar... I do appreciate that. The grammar was decent. Like, it was okay. But it needs to be a little bit, you know, better. Another thing I could definitely say that I didn't like about this episode was that... It's cliched. Like, it's completely cliche. Like, there's cliche madness everywhere. I'm being completely honest. I'm not trying to offend you. This is only because I want to help you get better if you're writing. The paragraph structuring was good and same with the punctuation. But the grammar just needs to be fixed up because there were the grammar was okay. I can definitely say at least there was an attempt. But however, there is literally mm, there's cliches in this story. We have some buying this DVD off of the store. We have, you know, person seeing going through all the episodes and then the a random episode episode appears. We've got the blood, we got the gore, we got, you know, hyperrealistic eyes or something like that. I think it's hyperrealistic eyes or glowing red eyes. That we have Dizzy sitting there and killing all of her friends. Like, why would she sit there and kill all of her friends like that? You know, there's no explanation. Well, there kinda is saying that because Dizzy was made fun of. But still, I still do. There's no reason for her to sit there and, you know, act like that. There's no reason for her to sit there and act like that. I'm just saying right now, there is no rhyme or reason for her to sit there and act like that. You know, I'm not, I'm trying not to get angry with it here, but I'm just saying that this story wasn't really good. I didn't really like this story. Why I narrate it? Well, it's because I want to help you get better if you're right, writing, um... Lightning McTyler, I'm not trying to insult you. I'm not trying to sound rude. 
I'm just only doing this review because I want to help you get better with your writing. In my opinion, I'm only help doing this reviews to help you get better with your writing. I could definitely maybe give benefit of the doubt that you did try to come up with something a little different. But to me, the story was just... Mm, I'm sorry. I just didn't like this story in my opinion. I just didn't like it. I don't know what it is, but I just didn't like this story. The story could have been, you know, it could have been decent. But unfortunately, that's not the case. I could definitely understand that, you know, you did try to come up with something different. But to me, this is just a cliche mess. And I'm just, um, I'm just being honest, you know. Because this story, I could have, you know, easily just yelled and screamed at it. But I'm not going to. I'm just saying right here, right now, that this story was just completely, um, completely cliched. Like, this story is completely cliched. This is kind of one of the reasons why I want to try to, uh, you know, avoid um, these kind of ep these kind of stories. Because, you know, Goshia nowadays, people are just not putting any more time and effort into the story. I'm sorry to have to come down to say this, but it's the honest truth. I'm not trying to sound, you know, insulting. I'm just only doing this because I want to help you get better with your writing. And that's really something I'm going to definitely say is that... I wanted you to get better with your writing than this story. Now, I could definitely say that this story was actually, um, okay. But, okay. Lightning Big Tyler, I understand you try to come up with something new. And I'm not going to give you, I'm going to give you benefit of the doubt that you did try to come up with something. But this story, all of its own self, is just, it just wasn't good. All I could say was good was that the grammar was okay and the sentence structure was good and the paragraph structure was good. But, but still, the story was just not good. I'm being completely honest. I am, I really hope you could do better with your new stories and I really do hope that he does that. So, um, yeah. So, I really hope things start to get a little better. But I'm really hoping you could do much better. Just take what I have to say and try to do better when it comes to that. I'm not I'm not trying to sound rude. I'm only doing these reviews because I want to help you get better with your writing. That is all I have to say. I'm just trying to be honest right here. And if you if I really hope you can understand how I felt about this story. I didn't like this story. And I'm going to end the review because I already explained why I didn't like it. But, you know, here's the thing. If you are going to use a cliche, this is probably one of the reasons why we're here. If you're going to use a cliche and you know for a fact it's unavoidable, try to make it sound like it's going to work with the story. As long as it will work with the story, then it should be fine. But other than that, don't just sit there and just put it there. For the sake of throwing it in there. Because it's not going to look good when it comes to your stories. But you know. I'm going to be completely honest. You did try to come up with something a little different. I'm not going to deny that. That you did try to come up with something different. But this story for off its own self. It's just um, not good in my opinion. I just think you know. That um, this episode could be you know. No uh, better. But, you know, we all make mistakes within these pastas. And I am going to say right now, please take what I have to say. And I know you could do a lot better with your pastas in the future. Please take what I have to say with a grain of salt. And sorry about the background music, background noise, guys. My mom's got the TV on. So, yeah, in her bedroom. So, I'm going to have to do that when I narrate the next story. But please um, understand what I'm trying to say. Alright guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the review because, um, I just need to, um, I just need to, you know, kind of, you know, get this over and done with. But yeah, um, I'm going to say right now that this is simply my own personal opinion and if you disagree with that, that's fine too. We're all entitled to own opinions regards to these, um, Kree pastas. And this is simply my own personal thoughts. Um, my final reign would have to be a... 
I'm going to give this one a 2 out of 10. Only a 2 because the grammar was okay and the sentence structure was good and the same with the paragraph structure, but that is just another thing that I'm going to say about why I didn't really like it. But other than that, the story was okay. But anyways, well, wasn't really that good, but the grammar was decent and okay. It just needs a little bit of improvement, but other than that, the sentence structure was good, the paragraph structure was good. That's just about it, but I'm not really liking the story. But anyways, this is simply my own personal opinion, and if you have dis- if you disagree with me, that's okay too. We're all entitled to our own opinions regards to these curry pastas. Anyways, uh, my final rating is well, I already said it again before, but I'm gonna say it again. My final rating is uh two out of ten. If you guys want to know, it's on Goshia Wiki. And like always, I'm gonna. S- what did you all think about this curry pasta? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you not? And also, what we have done to make this story a lot better. Leave me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Queen of Lions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you're brand new here to this channel, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because I make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell to when I upload so that you guys will um, get to be notified of my newest videos every day. Um, and like always, I'm going to roll the outro because I'm out of here. I'm going to go get my brain fixed. And I will be seeing you all in the next video. So roll the outro because I'm out of here. And I'll be seeing you all next time. Ciao.